Home wine makers have brought out their best to see if they have what it takes to wow the judges at the Bottle Shock Open competition in Lodi. Brian Hickey gives us a taste of what goes into making an award winning homemade wine and why this competition isn't just about the ribbon. It's judgment day for hundreds of home vintners who've parted with some of their coveted wine to see how it ranks. Now, how, how do you know if your wines are any good? You can ask your friends, and your friends are going to lie to you and tell you how great your wine is, right? But here, these guys don't lie. They're going to say if it's good or bad, and you're going to get a score. Some of the same judges who've awarded gold ribbons to the best wines in the state are here sampling from the region's smallest producers. They're amazing. Some of them, on the other hand, need some work. A wine judge for 25 years, Jerry Starr, says he's tasted it all at home wine competitions, and he promises to be honest. Sometimes the truth hurts. Stinky, putrid, awful, take it off the table. But with a bad review comes advice from this expert panel. It's really important because it's hard to get feedback. Um, a lot of your friends like wine, but they really don't have any technical expertise. So we're really trying to help home winemakers take their bronzer and silver medal winner and make it a gold next year based on the fact that they're getting good notes from the wine judge. It's a tasty and expensive hobby. The running joke among many of these home winemakers is it's the most expensive, mediocre bottle of wine you'll ever drink. You better believe it. <laughs> My husband would tell you that for sure. But some will walk away with gold ribbons and maybe. A future in the wine business. A lot of the major winemakers in the world started out as home winemakers. But if you find a wine you really like, the most frustrating part, you can't buy it. The law doesn't allow it. So you just have to get to know the winemaker. In Lodi, Brian Hickey, KCRA 3 News. And then maybe they'll make you some more. You never know. Over 300 wines were entered in this year's Bottle Shock Open. The winners will be posted to the event's website at bottleshockopen.com. Good luck to all of them.